The seven star Terror Raid Charizard event has dropped. It has started and we can dive in in this video, take a look at all the details from the event and what is available, how hard it is, can we take it down solo and everything you need to know to get the most out of this event in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. I'm doing this after doing the event den. So I've got a little bit of insight when I'm doing this, talking about the breakdown of the event itself. Now we're going to use our trusty source over at Cerebi, like we normally do, who has populated most of the details now for this terror raid. The raid will be running from December the 2nd, which is now as of recording this video, until December the 4th. So you're going to have a good chunk of time to take advantage of this. And don't worry, if you miss it this weekend, you're going to have another opportunity on the 16th of December, which is going to run till the 18th of December. So this won't be the first time that you're going to be able to access this event. It's worth noting that the Charizard is only catchable once per save file. So once per your game is the only time you're able to catch this Charizard. You're not going to be able to get multiple of them, unfortunately. So just remember that if you're going into multiple Terra Raid battles against the Charizard, you can only catch one if you've caught it once. Then after that, you're just going in for the item drops. So the Charizard, in fact, is going to be level 100. It is going to be the seven star. The interesting thing is, which I didn't know at the time when I first went into the Terra Raid, was that it was shiny locked. You're not going to be able to get this Charizard in its shiny form. Unfortunately, it is shiny locked. So if you avoid going for that first capture like I did with mine, um, don't do that. Just catch it. There's no point of putting off you may as well catch it it's never going to be shiny it will always have those six perfect ivs as well its terror type will be dragon will have its hidden ability which will be solar power um, and the moves that it will have it's going to have a huge amount of moves it's going to have dragon pulse fire blast hurricane focus blast and then the additional moves you will see are going to be overheat terror blast sunny day and inferno so we'll have a big array of moves no solar beam on there and no steel type attack so no iron tail no steel wing anything that could be threatening towards fairy types but these attacks are going to hit super hard even if you have a resistance against them so just be aware of that you're going to need at least a level 100 pokemon to go into this to even attempt it as a solo raid the item drops are brilliant for this you're going to get six large candy four extra large candy you're going to get five vitamins you're going to get a bunch of the dragon terror shards so it's a great event in itself just for collecting dragon terror shards you're gonna get tm and i think it's tm 157 yeah which it is overheat you are gonna get an ability patch a very rare item really nice to get a hold of then you're gonna have a chance to get a red candy vitamins obviously we went through uh, the shards you're gonna have a chance of their high value items nature mint more vitamins bottle caps and an ability capsule as well as the ability patch so some absolutely crazy items that you're gonna be able to get from this event then over the weekend if you are taking part in it so it's really worth even if you catch the Charizard going after it again and again and again just to acquire a lot of these really high value items that you're going to be able to guarantee getting most of the time from these raids and at the end of the day is a good challenge as well the other pokemon that we weren't expecting to get with the charizard are Florges and mimikyu obviously fairy type strong against dragon uh, they are going to be four and five star terror raids both of them respectively and you're going to have the standard shiny rates for these so these can be shiny in this event although the rates are kind of like one in 4096 for shiny dens and we have got a way to make those odds better at the moment item drops for these are pretty good as well and um, for the four star raids nothing really outstanding a bunch of candies the shards you're going to get some standard berries with this as well uh, ev training berries and then nugget potentially is another item drop five star raids are a little bit better you're going to get increased terror shards you're going to get better drops on the XL and large candies. Uh, you're gonna get EV training berries in this, some higher cost items with the mushrooms, nature mint, bottle cap appearing in these ones, and the ability capsule as well in the five star raids. So some decent drops for these, and it gives you a nice chance to get some additional Pokemon that you might not find so regularly around the region. So that is the event. Like I say, it is running from the second until the fourth. So you've got till Sunday evening to take advantage of this event. We'll hop into game now and show you exactly how you can find it and how you can beat this Charizard solo if you want in game. 
So before you can get the updates for the Den event, you're going to have to update your latest version with the new update of Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. You're going to have to go on to version 1.1.0, otherwise you're not going to be able to access the event. They uploaded the patch at the same time the event went live to stop people accessing it who hadn't updated their game. So once you are in your game, you've updated your copy with the, the new patch, then you come into Pokemon Portal and then you want to come down to Mystery Gifts and in Mystery Gifts, check under Poke Portal News and this will connect you to the internet. This will update all of your dens in of the Paldea region and you'll have you connected to the internet and receive the latest updates about what's going on in the Paldea region. So you're going to have these Charizard raids now. And now when you come onto your map, you're going to be wanting to look for the dragon. Ooh, there it is, I think we've got it. There it is. So we'll fly over and we'll have a look at this Charizard raid and see what it looks like. The den should just be down here. Wow, the den looks cool. It's got a way bigger aura to it than the other ones have. So let's click in on it, let's see. And there it is. And remember, if you are taking part in these raids, you can only catch one Charizard per save file. So one game, one per game, pretty much. Once you caught it, that is it. Right, we are going to go in with our Azumarill that we said in our preview video. It's got the Shell Bell. We are ready to go in and challenge it. We just need to change Pokemon. And let's see how hard this thing is. I'm really skeptical to... Well, I'm just interested to see what kind of moves it's got and how hard it's going to be. You know, six star raids are really difficult anyway, but they are doable as a solo raid. If you've got the type advantage, if you've got strong setup, they're easy to do. Seven star we haven't experienced yet. I'm not assuming that it's going to be like that much more difficult. Also, things like the sun going up, that solar power boost, if it has got solar power, which you would imagine it has. It has to take a turn using sunny day though. And then things like hurricane, uh, and Solar Beam in particular for against the Zoomer, which might be a bit awkward to deal with. Overheat straight off the bat. No way. Into Haxorus though. So Haxorus taking that like a champ. Minus two special attack helps. Uh, of course, of course, it gets the, it negates those drops. Right, let's go for the Belly Drum. Oh, Hurricane. No way. Okay, we take it. Puts us extremely close to the edge. Right, um, we aren't going to outspeed it, but we can Aqua Jet it. Not going to do enough damage though, but is it worth just getting the damage off? Just some damage before we get knocked out. Because any bit of damage now is going to knock us out, you know? We're not doing enough to get that Shell Bell recovery. Okay. So that's not the best start. And we've lost loads of time already. We need to really get a belly drum up and then just nuke it with a uh, and see how much a player up does to it. Right, belly drum. Let's see. We do outspeed it now. Okay, let's see. As long as it doesn't use hurricane, we're all right. Fire blast. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, that's good. Right, now we can play rough because we've got the speed advantage going off the last turn somehow. Oh, it knocked it out. <laughs> it definitely knocked it out. It definitely knocked it out. 100% knocked it out. You saw that. Hurricane coming in. Of course it gets a confusion. The shield's going to go up now, but we need to terrestrialize. That does so much damage. So that is the way to do it. But we're not having the best of luck here. We are not having the best of luck. We've lost our belly drum and we've lost our, um, our huge power as well. Okay. Um, Terra Blast won't affect us because of our fairy typing. So. Heracross going down. It's fine. Right. Um, we're just going to have to play rough. I can't afford to belly drum with the health that we're on. Come on, just hit. Just hit. Play rough. There we go. Just chip it, chip it at the minute. That's all we need until we get back our full health through Shell Bell Recovery, which I don't know if we're going to do. Okay, the Hurricane missing. That's good. All of our partner Pokemon are gone. Okay, we get pretty lucky there. We missed two big attacks. Can we Terrastalize now? Because 
I feel like we might be in a, in a good point where we may as well terrestrialize and get just the boosted damage because it's the only way to break the shield. You have to terrestrialize, but we have to survive as well. Like we need to be able to survive. We do lose our fire resist, which is not ideal, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And we are confused, please. Just a bit of RNG luck. Yes. We hit the play rough. Come on. Oh, that is fat damage. Fat damage. This is what we like. We're going to get all our health back. We've nearly done it. Inferno coming out 50% accurate. Not going to hit. Hurricane. Again, we get lucky. But low accuracy moves. All we need is one play rough. Come on, Azumarill. Let's do this. How does it keep getting health back? How is this Charizard getting health back? Come on, Azumarill. Yes! Come on, this should be it. Right, that has to be it. You can't keep getting health back, Charizard. Okay, its bars just disappeared. <laughs> and it's gonna go for a... Okay, Focus Blast as well. Have we done it? We've done it, we've done it. Tell you what, I don't think seven star raids are as bad as what they make them out to be. I'm not gonna catch this because this event can be shiny and I would love to get this Charizard as a shiny in game. So that's what I'm gonna be aiming for because this is tied to specifically one, one per save file. I don't wanna catch it right now, but we will be able to see the rewards. So I'm not gonna catch this. We'll go after another Charizard. Charizard disappeared somewhere, but Azumarill, we, we said it, we called it, we got it right. Azumarill crushes this thing. Right, we got the large candy, we got six large candy, four XL candies, calcium, dragon shards, we got 10 of those. This is a great event for collecting dragon shards. Uh, HM 157, whatever that is, an ability patch, another candy, um, a bottle cap, Rare candy, another large candy, calcium star piece, and another dragon, five dragon shards. These drops are incredible. So there, these are really worthwhile. Like getting an ability patch and a bottle cap and the rest. It's, it's really good, good drop. So yeah, this is gonna be worth just farming as much as you can. So friends, that is the Charizard Terror Raid event. It's not as daunting or as scary as I initially thought it was gonna be. Let me know your opinion. Have you been able to try it solo and beat it or have you just joined friends online and taken it down there? I will be taking part in this event over the weekend. So drop into our Discord and we'll try and hook up and take this thing on together and really start farming some of these item drops because I think that's one of the big pluses. You can catch one Charizard per save file and once you've done that, what do you do? Well, you take advantage of this event and try and get as many good items from these events as you can. Specifically, those Charizards are going to give you great item drops just to get a lot of resources to help you build your teams and just make your post-game experience a lot more enjoyable. And if you want to check out the Azumarill build that we did and we used in this video to take down this seven-star Charizard raid solo, you can check out the video at the end of this one. It will be linked. Thank you for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you in another video very soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.